How many gallons a day do you think the average family of four generates in water vapor just by occupying the house? How many gallons? We get all kind of crazy gallon guesses. It's two to four. It's two to four gallons from cooking, cleaning, doing laundry, pets, plants, hang drying wet clothes indoors, perspiration, not to get gross, but perspiration. I mean, that all, so cumulatively, you've got two to four gallons. Well, the reason this is a wintertime concern, in the wintertime, the cooler months, wherever we are in most climates, the cooler months, the attic is a bit cooler. This water vapor is attracted to a cooler, drier location. And if it reaches the attic, it could condense as frost or water droplets drip onto the insulation. That could lower the R value. Insulation is rated with an R value. The higher the R value, the greater it can be an insulator. So it could lower the R value. And in time, we might be looking at mold, mildew. It's not automatic that you're going to have mold and mildew, but that could be the eventual outcome. So that's the second reason we vent attics. Moisture. Fight moisture. Then thirdly, I'm a Philadelphia born and raised native, George. 